a basketball fan yourself and a member of this NBA fraternity, how hard is that to watch when something like that happens? Man, tough. You know, something that turns your stomach. You don't wish that upon nobody. You know, um, you're always wishing for the other players on the team to have a clean game, you know, injury free. Um, no matter if you're rivals or whatever it is, you know, you don't want injuries like that to happen, you know, so. Um, it was tough to see, you know, tough to watch. Um, but, you know, you, hopefully, you know, he had the speed to recovery, you know, prayers up to him uh, and hopefully it's, you know, not as bad as it looked and um, he can uh, recover and get back to form. Uh, it's similar to like how Paul George had his incident. Um, hopefully, you know, he'll be able to return to form and um, um, get back to playing uh, basketball. How are you finding navigating this, the new focus on offense and, and, and how you guys are looking to make, to take shots? Um, it's, it's, Fun, you know, it's uh, fun to learn something new, you know, especially the style of play we want to play. Um, it gives you a lot of freedom in the offense. Um, if you have an open three, shoot it. Um, you know, don't turn down uh, uh, looks, you know, in our shot spectrum. So uh, it's fun, you know, especially uh, with the guys we have. You know, we've got a lot of guys who are capable of, of playing this style of basketball, and I think we've done a great job um, learning a new offense in training camp in preseason. And um, I think uh, the guys are excited to see how it um, turns out during the season. Um, we're ready to get going and uh, play against some um, real competition where it really counts. Have you ever played on a team that played that style before? Um, no, uh, <laughs> not at all. Um, it was more, you know, get to the rim, you know, had a lot of sets. This is like open basketball concepts, just playing in different uh, uh, triggers of our offense, you know, um, um, moving the ball, um, reading what the defense is giving you. Um, played a lot of uh, up-tempo run and gun. Uh, uh, beat guys in high school, college, was more slow-paced um, half-court offense with Coach Holland. Uh, Coach Alford had more offensive schemes, but it was still the same uh, different uh, sets and things like that. This is more um, playing in the flow of the game, um, calling plays, you know, out of timeout, things like that, but it's more just making reads. You ever got a fight in practice with one of your teammates? Nah, man, we don't do that around here, man. It's all, it's all about taking it out on other teams, never on your teammates. Very true. <laughs> I'm a team player, man. Is the transition to the new offense any easier with so many new players in the rotation this season? Um, I think it is because everybody's learning something new. You know, it's not like, like we have a group of guys who've uh, played this uh, style of basketball before. You know, um, uh, it's very uh, easy when you have new guys coming in here and learning a whole new style of play, you know, and uh, it's easier for them to pick up the sets that we had from last year. Um, because we're throwing it in there, you know, during timeouts, and you're learning before we come to practice and actually break down the plays. But um, um, the new guys have been running it all summer, um, summer league, things like that. So uh, the new guys that we have uh, know the system. Uh, CJ's a vet, so it's easy for him to pick up the schemes, and I think it works really well for him because he's a three-point shooter. So um, it's easy for him to uh, figure out what it be and uh, how to work himself in, into the offense. But um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you were kind of joking on media day, but you made it clear that you were not a small forward. You were a combo guard. Why did Why did you? I mean, how much of a joke was it? No, it was a, it was a joke. I honestly yeah. don't care what yeah. what it is on the uh, on the on the internet or whatever yeah. is posted during games. Whether I'm a small forward or shooting guard, it doesn't matter. It was just a little funny thing that I saw because I kept seeing it um, on Twitter yeah. uh, about me being a small forward. But I honestly don't care. You know, I'm a basketball player. I play one through four, depending on matchups and uh, things like that so it doesn't matter to me honestly. There is the cliche that you are who you can guard mm -hmm. and you'll be asked to guard a lot of bigger guys. You were, yeah. you were asked of that as early as your rookie season against Paul Jordan in the playoff. I mean, using your height, using your wingspan, what's the what's the key to guarding guys who have four or five inches on you? Just being physical, you know, um, contact and um, things like that eliminate height, you know, so uh, you're just trying to be physical. Um, get low, you know, have better leverage in them. You know, I've, I've been able to show that, you know, I guarded John Wall to LeBron uh, in the post. I mean, even one time they put me on uh, most spates, which is crazy. But, um, you know, it's just about being physical and, like, using different tools, you know, fouling them a little bit where the ref can't see them, you know, little tricks <laughs> like that um, where they can't get every foul call and the ref won't see everything. But um, just using everything you have against them to make it difficult.